This is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at masks inside Premier Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, we'll look at how to create masks for chroma keys in Premier. If we have a chroma key shot, and what happens in this shot is Lisa comes in to talk to Andrew. But Lisa is just a placeholder. I'm going to replace her with a piece of animation. Think uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I want to just give Andrew a place to look, but draw in a different character here. So how do I do that? Well, first, let's select our clip. I have Ultra Key turned off because uh, I want to show how this works so you can see the green background. The easiest way, if I just want to get rid of, of this setting here, is to go to the key and we'll just draw a rectangle right there. We'll just draw a rectangle right here and say Andrew gets to disappear. No, we're going to say Lisa gets to disappear. Somebody's going to disappear. Wait a minute. Huh. If I turn the key on, well, I, that, that really doesn't do it right. You cannot affect between two clips, cannot, when you are working with a mask that is in the effect itself. Let's highlight the mask and hit the delete key. Instead, you've got to work with the opacity setting. So if I want to get rid of Lisa and get rid of the light, I'm going to use the pen tool, click here, and go up to here, and here, and here, and click again. And we'll turn this bottom clip on. And now there is our hero talking to somebody who isn't there. And then I just add the, um, add the cartoon character later. Now this, him floating above the air like that, I just have to pull my mask down a bit. Select the mask name so I can make adjustments and grab this and just drag it down a bit. There we go. When Lisa's hand, see how his... His hand is outside. Hold the Option key down. Click where I want to add. Just bend it out a little bit to make room for him. And so his hand can now pass up and back as he's, as he's reaching. And I don't see Lisa, and I don't see the light, and I've got plenty of room for him. If I wanted to, I could go to the Motion tab and just drag him off center. Hang on a second, twirl the motion tab down and just drag drag him off center to give me a better framing so I've got more of the totally doable. This is the sort of stuff we do with chroma key all the time. In fact, if you're ever wondering how to shoot a chroma key, center them up so that you've got plenty of room on the edges for them to move around. You can pan them wherever you want in the frame later, but you don't ever want to have a hand reach up and go out of frame or the top of the head go out of frame because then you're locked in terms of how they're framed. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at masks inside Premiere Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinars 195A and 195B. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Our training covers a variety of software and technologies. We add new training several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.